Hey guys, it's Simon. I just wanted to show you now the last part of the Tetralix game. I was able to add some, some minor functionality to make a, a ghost block available in the grid, let's say, of the of the play play grid. Um, also added a, a new sound effect when you add and re or reach a new high score. And that's it for now, really. And also, oh, and I forgot to mention that I also added the uh, visual feedback now when you're playing with the keyboard. Then also the user interface buttons are now showing that. Uh, was pretty simple to realize that. Was a little bit tricky to find out. I will show it then in a moment so that you can also use that. So what I did now, you can see it already. So when the stone falls from the top, you can also see at the bottom where it will end up. And when I press now the, the keyboard buttons, then it will correctly highlight also the, the user interface keys there. And yeah, that's that's an actually it. I think I will stop now with the game because yeah, I finished it. I learned a lot of things again. Um, the code is not 100% clean, I would say. So with uh, some of the, the functions that I added now with this, with this preview block and so on, you could solve that a lot nicer than I did. So what I did now actually before drawing uh, everything, I just move this block to the bottom, render it, then move it back to the original position and render it again. I guess there is a, a better approach for that, but yeah, this one worked, was quick to do and yeah, achieved what, what I wanted to achieve. Um, yeah, so for the for the feedback with the with the keyboard buttons, if also someone someone needs that in the future, uh, it's pretty simple. Then in the end, so what I did first of all to not always create new events, I initiate a touchdown event and a touch up event. So that's actually the the input event then that we are sending to the user interface button of the scene to the stage. So the Touchdown is of type touchdown and touch up is of type touch up. And then we can simulate the button press like this. So we give the function, or I wrote a function. So we give it the button that we want to, to press. And then we just fire those two events. So we fire the touchdown event and the touch up event. And this gives them the correct visual feedback. I don't know, I tried a lot of different things with uh, this button set programmatically something I think correct wasn't it like that yeah set program programmatic change events I tried it a little bit with that I tried it with button uh, the changed stuff so set change to true or was it something else I think it was set changed whatever things like that but they all of them they did not really work and did not give the, the correct feedback and did not uh, fire then also the, the logic from the listen of the button so in the end I, I ended up with that one so fire those two events and that's it so in case you need that you can do it and yeah code can be found again on github I will link it in the video description and that's it for the tetralix stuff I hope you like it if you have any questions feel free to ask me Thanks for watching and bye bye.